the time now, 11.40 in the morning time on this Friday afternoon, April 11th, 2049, a Friday afternoon time now for Water Magician PJ Wade's the afternoon report, noon time report, Seven. Friday afternoon. April 11, 2014. Good afternoon, everybody. Our Kirk Editions at 11 o'clock. Going in at 11.40 a.m. in Norton, Massachusetts. Got a temperature 56 degrees. Overcast skies. Gribbity a 62% wind speed. Southwest about 7 miles per barometer. 3 inches even. Dew point 43 degrees. Invisibility of 10 miles. Okay, let us take a look at our radar scoop. Shows a couple of bits of the rain shots that it needs to import to the New Brunswick. Searching off the coastal main. In New Hampshire and a couple of bits of the rain shots hovering around Providence Town in Six, Outer Cape and the Islands. A couple of blobs of rain shots off the Nantucket coastline and off the Cape and the Islands. There. And the uh, rain shots stretching from Nova Scotia down for western portions of Prince Edward on some sleeted snow shots mixing into it. Dollar is what you need. You have 25 cents for the phone. Snow and sleet shots in the east of to go back. Rain shots in the east of portions go back here. You gotta search it. Oh no. Are you kidding? Search off with a nickel. Line. Range has a 7 2 New York and Danford. You are. 7 2 New York. South New York, Danford, Pennsylvania, Danford, Eastern Ohio, Danford, Norman, yeah. West Virginia, Danford, Kentucky. Couple of batches of range has it in southeastern Minnesota, Danford, Northeastern Iowa, Danford, Wisconsin, and Danford, Western UP, Michigan, and Northwestern. Should I even show this to you? I don't know. Ten cents. Wisconsin and northeastern portions of Minnesota. Snow shots in the eastern and western portions of Ontario. Rain shots in the northeastern portions of Minnesota and the northeastern portions of North Dakota. Cent, three fifty cents. Couple of bets to the rain shots in central. Montana stretched in the eastern portions of Alberta and the southwestern portions of Saskatchewan and sleet and snow shots in west central portions of Saskatchewan and Alberta and the eastern portions of British Columbia. With some rain shots mixed with it in there. Love my pets. And I would do any. Canada, Oklahoma. Good morning. It is 64 degrees with clear skies. There. Rain shots up. The Carolinas and rain shots in southeastern portions. And down through the eastern coast of Florida, then near Miami. Here. All right. Let's take a look. And our satellite loop beer. I get everything I need. And it shows a couple of vector clouds covering from Atlanta, Canada, searching on some New England on a western New York down for Pennsylvania and after uh Ohio down for Northern with new Febreze. West Virginia down for Tickeen Tennessee and number vector clouds from Southern Illinois and Denver, Missouri, down for Southeastern Kansas Dorman, Ohio down to Northwestern Arkansas. Couple of batch clouds from Wisconsin and for northeastern portions of Iowa. Couple of batch clouds from southeastern portions of Oklahoma and West Central Arkansas and Northeastern Texas. And a batch of clouds from western portions of Texas and Amfu. To the greater southwest and another batch of clouds from Western Dakota and Wyoming and up in the Montana and down for Saskatchewan and Alberta and down for British Clinton and down for Northern portions of Washington State. A couple of batch of clouds from Southern Manitoba and Ontario. Another batch of clouds from the Northwest of Portion of Minnesota. A couple of batch of clouds from Eastern Minnesota and Northeast and Iowa down for Wisconsin here. A couple of batch of clouds from Western New Carolina down for Northern Georgia down for Mississippi down for Alabama. Okay, map situation at warm front down for Alberta, cold front from southeastern Alberta down for Saskatchewan down to Manitoba, warm front down for Ontario, cold front from Ontario down to up in Quebec. Safety front from Colorado down for New Mexico and straight down for Northern Texas and Oklahoma down for Arkansas and down for Southeast Missouri down for Illinois, Indiana and down for Ohio and a cold front from Pennsylvania stretching and up in the Northern New England there. Warm front from Alberta and a cold front from Southeast and Alberta, Saskatchewan and Manitoba down for Ontario. Warm front down for Ontario, cold front from Ontario down to Quebec here. What about it down for Western Texas and up in the northwestern coast of California? High pressure in Western Colorado. Eastern Missouri and Ontario and Georgia and low pressure in Arizona, Central Texas, Northern Mexico, and Northern Ontario. And, and we got high pressure in Georgia. We got 57 degrees on Tepture Island, Boston at 64 and in Washington, 59 and Atlanta, 77 in Miami, 72 in Brownsville, 65 in Dallas, Texas, 54 in Kansas City, 55 in Chicago, 48 in Minneapolis, 46 in Great Falls, 42 in Seattle, 53 in San Francisco, 57 in Los Angeles, 50 out in Salt Lake City, Utah, 51 in Denver, 55 in Albuquerque. Okay. Current conditions, man, we just got 59 in Boston, 61 out in Beverly, 62. In Beverly, 61 in Bedford, 55 in Gloucester, 61 in Fitchburg, 60 in Worcester, 61 in Surbridge, 61 in Webster, 
58 in Milford, 50 in Taunton, 56 in New Bedford, 55 in TF Green in New Bedford, and in Falmouth, 50 in Chatham, 46 in Province Sound, and then in Cape Cod Bay, 53 out in Nantucket, 57 in Martha Vineyard, 50 out in Chatham, 54 in Balkan, 56 out in Wesley, 61 in Smithfield, 61 in Webster, and in Sturbridge, 58 in Milford, 60 in Worcester, 64 out in Pittsburgh, 61 in Gardner, 59 in Greenfield, 53 in Enamor, 62 in Springfield, 56 in Pittsfield, 57 in North Adams, 59 in Mainton, Vermont, 16 in Albany, New York, 61 in Keene, New Hampshire, 58 in Jeffrey, 61 in Cook, New Hampshire, 59 in Manchester, New Hampshire, 63 in Nashua, New Hampshire, here, 60 in Windsor Locks, 57 in Northfield, 57 in New Britain, Meriden, 61 in Waterbury, 63 in Denver, 53 in Bridgeport, 50 in New Haven, and 56 in Montauk, 65 in Islipin, 66 in New York City, and let's take a look at our forecast discussion here in around the country, here. And shows showers from the New York Valley to the northeast on Friday. Warm weather continues east of the Rockies. And storm system develops over the southern plains this weekend. And weakening frontal boundary draped across the York Valley and in the, the, the northeast United States. It's providing just enough force in a narrow bend of showers on Friday, with perhaps a few rumbles of thunder possible west of the Appalachian Mountains. Once activity should move off to the coast in the time of the weekend, the high pressure begins building back into the region. The warm and pleasant spring like temperatures are forecast to continue into the weekend for a bunch of the central and eastern parts of the United States with a jet stream and a main storm track. Remaining in the northern near the Canadian border, daily highs in the 70s and 80s will be coming place east of the Rockies, along with sunny Park Cascades. Across the northern tree of the country, a cold front dropping southward out of Canada will be bringing a fresh surge of cold weather will from the northern brackets of the upper Midwest and moisture from the front is likely to fall in the form of the snow and high elevations of the Rockies and the rainers. But the valleys and by Saturday, as even as surface flows be forecast, it's developing in the lee of the Rockies near the Texas Panel and it's expected to be come the next big weather maker by the end of the next weekend across the central United States. Here. I wish you liked my cooking though. Alright, forecast discussion here in New England here. A week cold front will move across New England today and stall along the south coast of Nam, bringing a few showers of the week. Low pressure surpasses south of the region, dry progressively milder conditions should expect over the weekend and Monday. A slow moving front will bring a soaking rain sometime Tuesday and Wednesday. New term until 6 p.m. this evening, 11 20 update. Modified props to reflect latest read our trends and high resolution models guidance. Initial bed shift sprinkles as move offshore, and we are awaiting the next round of showers down the way across eastern Pennsylvania to reach our area later this afternoon and early tonight. As a week, close for the pressure about 7 New England and rainfall amounts are still expected to be light, with mainly 0.10 inch or less. Midnight level current has been a bit stubborn, and this has kept the temperatures from climbing too much. Nonetheless, wet west flow ahead of the front should be boosting the afternoon highs in the 50s and 60s across much of the region, but probably not as high as model again suggests. Weak sea breeze expected along eastern Massachusetts coast later this afternoon as gradient weekends ahead of the front. Uh, more of the gradient southwest flow along the south coast this afternoon. Okay, let us take a look at our Ukraine. Experience the difference that over one. Slow moving cold front across Southern New England Friday and Saturday as weak cold front hangs up across the Southern New England a few showers possible along the front Friday. A weak wave of low pressure along the front Friday that will make a narrow band of steady rain at front passes offshore. Saturday morning as high pressure building in the west shows and then Storm tall to rainfall Friday for Saturday. Expect not up to a quarter inch of rain for much of the region. And Friday's highs will be near 70 degrees of temperature for today. Yeah? And those of you who are. And makes intercourse more This is now Tropical Storm Ida. It's a severe tropical cyclone Ida. It's now Category 3 across the coast near Cape Flattery at 10 p.m. And it is expected to move south southwest passing just inland of Cooktown this morning. And gradually weaken and very destructive winds with gusts up to 1 or 9 kilometers per hour are possible between Cape Melville and Cooktown this morning. And destructive winds with wind gusts up to 150 kilometers per hour are expected to develop further after Cape Tribulation and possibly into the Port Douglas later Saturday morning. And Gales may extend in adjacent inland areas, including Laura and Palmerville and South Carolina and Innisfail may inland the chill go during Saturday and possibly to Godwell later in the evening. And this remains small and possibly that Ida could track south close to the coast tonight. It maintains an intensity capable of turning wind gusts of 130 kilometers per hour in occurrence during Saturday. Coastal residents between Cape Flattery and Cape Tribulation, including Cooktown, are especially warned up the dangerous storm tide overnight on a high tide Saturday morning. The sea likely remains a steady up to the low level, which will be significantly about the normal tide with damage and waves, strong currents, and flooding of low lying. Areas extending from some way inland, people living in areas unlikely to be affected by this flooding should take measures to protect their property as much as possible to be prepared to fellow instructions regarding evacuation area of their eyes. Reduce all body authority. <laughs> Close of residents between Cape Tribulation and Cairns, and Pope Douglas are warned of a storm tide this morning that may produce minor flooding along the foreshore. 
people living in the areas should likely be affected by this. One should take measures to protect the property as much as possible and be prepared to help their neighbors. Three, hail. Beams of heavy rain will be lead up, flash flooding, development of parks set up. Peninsula and North Tropical Coast and Tablelands. Districts and should gradually conduct southwards with a system home rule the weekend. People in the path that are very dangerous act in between. Cape Melville and Cooktown should take on and remain in secure shelter about the expected water level while the very destructive winds will develop overnight. Do not venture outside if you have find yourself in the eye of the cyclone. Very destructive winds are from a direct direction can result many times. Thought of extra should advise us. Directors of police, emergency services, personnel, and local authorities. People elsewhere between Cape Millville and Cudwell are adjacent inland areas, including Laura, Palmerville, Mariva, and Chilco should complete preparations to quickly appear. To shelter the safe base, puts in set outside property should be secured using available daylight hours. For cyclone preparedness and safety advice, visit Queensland's Disaster Management Service website www.disasterqld.gov.au and for emergency assistance call the Queensland State Emergency Services as yes on 132 for assistance with storm damage, rats and flood waters and fall time of fall trees on buildings and roof damages and fall evacuation advice of directions of police, emergency service personnel and local authorities. Okay, let's take a look at our 7 8 forecast. It goes like this here in Norton here. We got class skies for this afternoon with high near 68 degrees southwest with about 7 miles per hour. Tonight, shots likely mainly before 11 p.m. Patch valley up to 2 a.m. on bars. Most class skies zone 41 degrees, light and variable wind, chance of precipitation 6%. New is very much between the 10 and the quarter inch possible. Saturday, most of the skies are under 61 degrees, not for about 5 miles per hour coming in the morning. Saturday night, most of the skies are 42 degrees, up with about 7 miles per hour. Sunday, most of the skies are under 65 degrees, up with about 9 to 17 miles per hour. Saturday night, Patrick Fowler got to midnight, otherwise, most of the skies are 50 degrees. Monday, Patrick Fowler got to midnight, otherwise, most of the skies are 50 degrees. Monday night, Patrick Fowler got to 2 a.m., otherwise, most of the skies are 50 degrees. Tuesday, shots like the Patrick Fowler before 7 a.m., otherwise, most of the skies are under 61 degrees, chance of perspiration 6%. So then, Low on 30 degrees, chance of precipitation is 8%. Okay, so Wednesday, shots likely put the sand sky down near 49 degrees, chance of precipitation is 70%. What's that? Podcast called Lone 32 degrees. Thursday, both sides got down here 51 degrees. Peter is what a phrase of the afternoon. A cloudy and a mild day and tap and showering day in the afternoon. This is PJ Wizard. You have a good day with a good positive attitude, dear.